Hey, it's Dennis here, VE3BF. I hope everyone's having a great day today. I want to talk to you about this little uh, improvised homebrew 20 meter vertical that I built. And uh, I made this out of some parts that I had kicking around uh, the shop, the garage. And uh, I, I bought uh, one component. Um, so depending on what you have in your kit, uh, this is uh, less than $100. And uh, in my case, it was about five bucks because I had the parts. So let's go over the parts list real quick. Um, first of all, I've got a, uh, a standard uh, satellite or TV antenna tripod here, which I had kicking around the shack. Uh, they're worth about 30 bucks. Um, a piece of fencing uh, conduit here. This is an uh, inch and a quarter tube or inch and a half, I guess, uh, outside diameter. Uh, it is an eight foot piece and, and they're worth about eight bucks or Lowe's, uh, Home Depot, that type of thing. The next piece is a piece of uh, a galvanized conduit, uh, the half inch, and uh, it's not worth a whole lot. I think I paid five bucks. That was the only piece I had to buy. Uh, at the top, I've got a, an old uh, Citizens Band 11 meter uh, whip. Uh, that was uh, the base was broken off of it and uh, that made for uh, a great piece uh, So from the uh, bracket to the top, I'm roughly 16 and a half feet You're gonna have to play with that measurement a little bit uh, You can take a look at a quarter wave calculator we will uh, pop a link there for you to you can go check it out uh, But anywhere between 16 to 17 feet. It's gonna it's go, is what's going to work um, I've got a piece of cedar um, next here with some uh, some muffler type clamps or some uh, pipe clamps from there I've got a couple of uh, quick clamps uh, alligator clamps and uh, they're holding the radials and that's just for portability uh, you could easily and, and actually I'm going to add some lugs uh, to uh, to them so that I can just uh, hook them up permanently uh, to uh, uh, to the structure to the antenna itself and then for a matching network and you really don't need a matching network uh, for a quarter wave antenna but it does help I've used the LDG Ballon the, or actually it's an unum a four to one unum and and the reason that I did that is uh, because I want to use this antenna on multiple bands and with my tuner it works really well I've tuned this antenna from 80 meters uh, right up until uh, uh, into the six meter band and it works really really quite well. Now, of course, it's going to be limited uh, at the uh, the lower bands, uh, but for uh, 20, 15, um, 17, 12, um, 10 meters and 6 meters, it's an excellent antenna. And with the matching network there, it helps the tuner, okay? It helps everything come into line. Uh, the SWR on this antenna, depending on how you set it up, you're going to get anywhere from 1.4 to 1.6 to 1. Uh, on the 20 meter band, which is very, very acceptable. But again, that compromise there, the reason it's not one-to-one -one is so that I could carry up uh, the entire uh, other band. So let's pop it on the antenna analyzer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I've got the antenna hooked up to my antenna analyzer here. This is the uh, Rig Expert uh, Alpha Alpha 54. I love this little unit because it can measure multi bands. So uh, here's what I got: a 6.0 uh, fluctuating in there, uh, 4.1 on the uh, 40 meter band, uh, 1.6 on the 20, uh, 1.9 on the 15 meter band, and 2.5. So you could actually use it on the three upper bands uh, without um, an antenna tuner. Uh, but uh, you know using the little LDG tuner on my rig it does a great job We'll try a couple of contacts here today's field day. So there's going to be lots of stations out there um, So that's pretty much it uh, if I take a look at the range here uh, Let me just pop out of here and uh, we'll just do a quick uh, screenshot of the uh, the full range of SWR and I think I've got a, a 500 kilohertz uh, range here and uh, what's really neat here is from uh, uh, from 1300 uh, right up until well the entire 20 meter band is at 1.6 so great SWR uh, Don't worry. You don't have to have it flat um, The antenna is very efficient. It works well And again the reason that I played with it that way is to get that multi-band use Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot Thank you very much for the two Alpha Romeo India. You are um, five nine one Bravo, uh, one Bravo Ontario East. Uh, Oscar November Echo QSL. Uh, QSL QSL. Thank you for the contact. Whiskey one Lima Yankee. QRZ Alpha 
So there you have it, uh, pretty successful contact, I think, Rhode Island to here, field day, it's a busy day, lots of traffic, we got them on the first call. That's about 1,200 kilometers, maybe 800 miles, give or take. Well, it's not New Zealand, I got that one the other night off this same antenna, but of course the camera wasn't rolling, so you have to take my word for it. A uh, couple of things I didn't mention. Number one, the 11 meter whip up on top. It's held together with hose clamps, okay? So there's not a whole lot of stuff there. The hose clamps make it easy for you to adjust your length. Remember, my length is a 16 foot six plus a couple of fractions of an inch. Your length will vary whether you're using the same ballum I am or maybe you're not using a ballum at all. That's entirely up to you. Play around with it and you'll find what works best. Uh, my radials, they're cut exactly the same length as the antenna up above. So uh, from the tip of the antenna to the little wire that goes to the ballum, that's the entire length of your antenna. My radials are spaced at 90 degrees apart uh, for quadrants. Uh, some people play around and moving the uh, radials and uh, all in the same direction, uh, it's said to make the antenna more directional. I've played with it, didn't have a whole lot of success. If you have and uh, you want to give me some notes, maybe I'm doing something wrong, uh, drop me a line, drop me a comment. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this one. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. I, it's okay, I've got thick skin, but do me a favor, write me a comment, let me know what you'd like to see change so I can make the channel better for everyone. Thanks for watching. I'm Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot saying 73 for now. Catch you on the next one.